you had to leave your, let yourself in. Kind of thing. Yeah, but I mean, it's more like it opens it up to the possibilities, you know. Yeah. Um, what kind of things are uh, can they cut LSD with, like on a tab? They don't usually, you know, they, what they do is when 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 you get a dosage of LSD, it's not LSD is so small that you couldn't even, you know, carry it around, right? You know, the amount that would be active it would be like a small tiny tip of a pin. So um, they have to put it in something, and one of the problems that, that with with street LSD is is that anything they put it in uh, that gets exposed to air, to moisture, or to light. Um, can actually make the stuff, you know, decompose. So it's uh, usually the best way to, that they did it was when they put them in pills because only the outside of the pill would decompose and the rest of it wouldn't. Now as far as adulterants, they used to say that, uh, that there was, people would say, oh, there's speed in the acid, there's strychnine in the acid, you know, there's this in the acid. But usually there really wasn't. It was just that there were, um, that it was made, uh, you know, in a way that it wasn't really purified, so that people would start having physical, you know, physical side effects from it, but not from you know, really being contaminated with anything else. And very often, the only thing they really ever contaminated it with it too much was a drug called uh, PCP or fluoxetine, which is, is related to ketamine. And uh, but that was about the only one that I could think of. Oh, I heard like because like sometimes when you take it, your back hurts afterwards, and that be the LSD doing that, like. And it's probably because you're jumping around a lot. No, <laughs> <laughs> really, I mean, no, it's, I it's to, truth. It, it happens to me too, but the thing is, somebody said, somebody said it was a strychnine. Yeah, that's, totally. that's, that was the excuse, and so he said, well, this is pure. And so the pure stuff I took, was it, there was no back problems, but the kind of weaker stuff I took, I mean, in the trip itself, it was different, but it, 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 there was an obvious difference. What do you mean by something. back problems? It, there's, it almost feels like there's, when you're on it, there's like almost a weird warm fluid sensation about going throughout your back and the next day it's I don't know how to explain it, it just it's uh but I don't know like see the LSD LSD doesn't have any any specific any specific physical effects at all. Um, there's a little bit of a maybe when you first take it there's a tiny little twinge of something but it, it if it's if there's any if you feel anything else it's either one of two things. It's either psychological like I said, the range of experiences is so you know, wide that you can produce almost any kind of experience with it. That's what's kind of interesting about it. You know, it's kind of like um, a, drug version, a drug version of virtual reality. You, know, you can create virtually any, any reality, any kind of experience, including physical effects. You could you know, think that you're dying. You could think that you're dead. You, know, you could feel like you know, you're out of your body. You Feel like you know all different sorts of things, but uh, uh, more more you know specific forms of that, or like people would say that they have back problems, uh, is that it also um, increases your uh, your sensory perceptions, so that your senses become much more you know acute. You might have like some back problem that you never really feel, and then all of a sudden you know you become so sensitized that every little problem that you have is magnified a billion times. You know, back might hurt you all the time, but you just start noticing it, you know. Or you might have heard from somebody that it causes back problems, so then you think that you're going to have back problems when you're on it, so you start having them. That's called, that's the set and setting thing we talked about at the beginning. And with the, you know, contaminants in the, in the drug that are on the street, the range of things that people have is, is much greater than what actually would be had on the pharmaceutical so it's, you know, you really, it's really hard to talk about, you know, anything that people report in, 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 in you know, taking it on the street as is, being is, uh, LSD. But uh, people who took it in the pharmacy, you know, in experiments in the pharmacy, <coughs> things had all kinds of physical sensations, but none of it was ever attributed to anything that was actually physical. I mean, that's not true with MDMA. Like, for instance, there's one effect of MDMA that people have uh, called, where their jaws clench, right? That's actually part of, that's actually a physical effect of the drug. You know, it's uh, you know, built into the drug. It's a side effect um, that's not 
psychosomatic. And those kids have any of those things. <laughs> is it like? Cut, is there speed cut into it, poked it into it? MDMA is, um, is, in its pure form, is, is um, uh, not cut with anything. It, and, and people don't put speed, people put all kinds of stuff into MDMA. Stuff on the streets is very, very unreliable. And it's gotten more so. I mean, I, I first started using it when it was legal, right? Back in 1978. It's all good. No, speed in it, right? But, you know, 20 years later, you know, it's, it's all kinds of stuff that, you know, when the government makes something illegal, then people start, you know, putting out whatever they can, can, can want, want to try to sell it. But it doesn't, uh, it's not, it's not cut with anything, and it doesn't have any of that stuff in it to begin with. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I always hear that MDMA uh, causes, like, uh, puts holes in your brain. Is that true? That what? It like, puts holes in your brain. So I didn't you know. Does it? <laughs> uh, do, do you have yeah. a question? Yeah, I was going to say, um, how you're saying that there's you no know, mental effects after, what about people who think of PTSD after excessive use of LSD? After? After excessive use of LSD. Excessive use. Oh, yeah. Well, it, like I said, um, it doesn't have any particular um, you know, on people who don't have a pre-existing mental disorder, incre increased use of it will only, be, you know, lead to temporary changes. So, um, if people use it very frequently, um, it may lead to a temporary kind of destabilizing of their personality, so that they'll, on a short-term basis, they might not be completely, you know, able to live in ordinary society without having problems. But that would just go away, you know, at, at, if, if uh, a few weeks were to pass. There's really no long-range problems from it. There are can be short-range problems because people have problems in their life anyway. And if they start using any drug too much, it's going to cause problems in their life. But if they don't, if they stop doing it for a while, those problems will go away unless they have some kind of genetic thing that's in their brain that's going to keep them having problems, and it's not from the drug, but it's from their own brains having, not working like everybody else's. And so sometimes people have, you know, good mental disorders too, I suppose, but, uh, you know, most of them are pretty bad, and, and uh, so you want to avoid trying to, you know, if you don't know, you know, whether you have one or not, then you don't really want to find out by taking a drug to find it out. Yeah. Um, have you ever taken uh, lysotheric acid, just basic, like the wine, baby wood rose, or the? Like, well, my first trip was on morning glory seeds. Yeah. Well, did you get a really intense nausea, like a, a really intense? You know what that's from? Yeah, it's from the other stuff that's in it. It's from the. Um, there's a lot of other things in it besides uh, lysergic acid amides. There's lysergic acid. There's about 20 different kinds of lysergic acid amides, and then there's a whole variety of other. Mm -hmm organic chemicals in there, and a lot of them just make you really sick. I mean, my first experience, I was like really, really sick, but I had a wonderful time after I got the sickness went away, right? Yeah, I <laughs> so say this to a peyote, we're talking about, you know, mescaline peyote like that as well. And uh, there's a new drug that people got interested in, which is really a combination of drugs called ayahuasca, which is uh, used in the Amazon, and, and that also causes a lot of nausea. The nice thing about LSD, one of the reasons why you know, I, I like talking about it is, is that by itself it really doesn't do any of that. It's only, uh, you know, unless it's psychogenically created. But most of the time it's very, very, uh, it's, it doesn't really cause that. It can be, another reason why I like you with your back thing is, is you, you can get very exhausted running around and doing all kinds of stuff. I mean, imagine, you know, running around, if you were to run around for like, you know, 14 hours, jumping around and doing all this kind of like crazy wild stuff that you would do on a drug sometimes. All, sometimes well, some people, they take a lot of it, they usually can't move around very much. Right? <laughs> they take a lot, you know, milder dose and, and, and they run around for, you know, 20 hours. They're going to be tired, you know. They're going to have their backs are going to get sore. They're going to feel, you know. So, uh, you know, 
people don't think about that. You know, they think